I've showed you how to get to Mexico, I've showed you how to get back to Guarma, and today I'm actually going to show you how to get inside of and explore Sisica Penitentiary, the prison in Red Dead Redemption 2. There's nothing better than getting inside of locations and games that you're normally not supposed to be able to get to, and unfortunately, that's the case for the prison. We've got this highly detailed prison that we can't explore inside of. The closest that we get to it is in the mission Visiting Hours, where we do pay a visit to this island, but that's it. But thankfully, there are two different methods on how to get inside of the prison. If you are able to get inside of the prison from this video, well, hopefully I can earn your thumbs up and your subscription. Now, I will say before attempting to get to the penitentiary, I did this after I completed the main storyline to the game. I don't think that's gonna matter. I'm sure you could do this at any given time. But just letting you know, in case it doesn't work, that I did do this after I completed the main storyline. Now, what you're going to need to actually do is use cheat codes. I know some of y'all may not want to do that, but you're going to need four cheat codes or else this is going to be very hard for you. The first one is, would you be happier as a clown? That's going to spawn in a circus wagon. The second one is, you want freedom? That's going to decrease your wanted level. Number three is, you seek more than the world offers. That's going to restore your health your stamina, and dead eye. And number four is abundance is the dullest desire. That's going to give you infinite ammo, and that's a crucial cheat that I would say you will like 100% need. So there's actually two different methods on how to get inside of the prison. Method number one is using a stick of dynamite to launch yourself from a water tower over into the prison. This was founded by Brexley, and this one is a bit challenging. This requires like super precise timing, and if you don't do it right, it's going to be very frustrating. So the second method is actually just glitching through into the prison using a stick of dynamite once again. This one was founded by Angry Toaster, and this is the easier one in my opinion. And that's the one that I'm going to be showing y'all how to do today. So there's six steps that you need to follow to get inside of the prison. Once you've entered all the cheat codes, step number one is get onto a boat and row over to Sisica. Step number two is row to the backside. And there's going to be three guards on the ground that you need to take out on the backside. There's going to be a couple above you watching over you. Go ahead and take those out as well. Now, step number three is use your decrease wanted level cheat. Because you didn't really alert anybody by taking out these guards in the back. Well, if you use the decrease wanted level cheat, that's going to get rid of your wanted level completely. And you're not going to have to worry about fighting off endless spawns and hordes of guards. Because if you don't use the cheat, they will come over and over and over non-stop. Step number four is spawn in a circus wagon and put it as close as you can to this building on the back side of the prison. Step number five, climb on top of the circus wagon and jump onto the roof. Now, step number six is the reason why you need that infinite ammo. And you can only carry eight sticks of dynamite on you at a time. And this is just, it just takes a little bit of time. So make sure your health is also full because the dynamite will drop it a little bit. But plant the dynamite in the middle of this roof and then run over to the corner of the roof. And once the dynamite does explode, you're actually going to go ragdoll. You're going to be laying there. And when you finally get yourself together, well, you're going to get up and it's actually going to launch you inside of the prison. And there you are. You are inside of Sisica Penitentiary. It's that easy, but it's also that challenging. It did take me a bit because placing the dynamite, it just has to be precise. And if it's not perfect, well, you're not going to get inside. So that's why I would recommend the cheats because it took me my first time more than eight sticks of dynamite. So I had to restart this whole thing over and it does just take a bit of time to row from San Denis all the way over to the island, place the dynamite, fight off the guards. So hopefully I made this as easy as possible. But once inside of the prison, unfortunately, there isn't any sort of like secrets or Easter eggs or things like that. It's... It's just the inside of a prison that you can't see unless you glitch inside. There's no enterable interiors. There are some just like miscellaneous cosmetics laying around here. Like there's some crates full of apples. There's a flagpole with no flag on it. Like I said, you can't get inside of any of the buildings. There is an interesting part though that leads down like underneath the prison. But the door is barred off and you can't go inside or see what's inside of there. But there's a couple different buildings. There's the, the cell block obviously. 
There's like a guard's quarters, I would assume. There is what I would assume is like the warden's office and a big old building there. But I'm definitely getting like Shawshank Redemption vibes from this prison. It's kind of cool. But uh, other than that, like I said, there's not too much there yet. And I say yet because we do have a leaked achievement from Red Dead Online. And it's the like opening mission and cutscene to Red Dead, Redem or Red Dead Online. And uh, it's breaking out of the prison. And this is the only prison in the game aside from El Presidio, which is in New Mexico, that I don't think at all that we're going to be breaking out from. But I do believe that Red Dead Online is going to start out in the prison here and we are going to break out from it. So hopefully it starts out in the prison and we do get to see like a cell block and some interiors to this. I think that would be really, really cool. But until the end of November, which is only like a week and a half away, uh, we're not going to know if we do get to get inside of the prison or not. But we do know there is going to be a prison break. So it might start out outside of the prison. Like I said, again, I don't know. We can only hope that we get to check out this, this detailed or this like somewhat detailed prison and see the inside of it. So if I helped y'all get to Sissica Penitentiary, hopefully I earned your thumbs up. And your subscription, a little love goes a long way, and it sure does mean a lot. So, thank y'all for tuning in. I'm Zach Cox, and I hope to see you in the next video.